Welcome back to Intro to Physical Anthropology. I'm your instructor, David Leitner. Today, we're going to talk about the Oldowan tool industry. This is the first stone tool industry um, on record. Uh, they are relatively simple tools, but that simplicity is deceptive. Um, uh, we're going to have a, a look at some of the characteristics of the industry and what some of the advantages might have been to uh, the hominins that were using it. All right, so the Aldewan tool industry exists from about two and a half million years ago to 1.7 million years ago. Very much coincides with Homo habilis root offensis, um, although Homo erectus, early Homo erectus, uses it quite a bit as well. Uh, it's first strictly found in East Africa, and later we see it in North Africa, East Africa, uh, uh, sorry, North Africa, West Africa, and South Africa. Um, the first tools we see outside of Africa coincide with the first fossil, it's the first Homo erectus outside of Africa, and it is an old one-like set of tools. Now, they pretty much center around the three main types of that the, we talked about in the introduction to stone tools, right? They have cores, they have hammer stones, and they have flakes, and they use all three as tools. Sometimes they make a tool by taking flakes off the core and then using that sharpened core. Other times they use the flakes that they take off. Um, but it's a relatively simple tool industry in that respect. Um, uh, flakes can be sharper than surgical uh, scalpels, especially if they're made of flint or obsidian. Um, and of course, hammer stones aren't limited to just striking the stones with, you can also strike bones and nuts and other hard things to get at the nice things inside, like bone marrow or nuts, <laughs> nut meat. Okay. So that means that these were extremely important for exploiting these new kinds of protein and fat resources. Uh, also, accessing plants that may have been too tough and fibrous to otherwise eat, except that they were able to process them, grind them, scrape them, do whatever with their stone tools. Uh, we know they carried them from far away. The oftentimes quarries are up to 10 kilometers away. Uh, and that there was a huge energetic commitment. So the payoff in having these things has to be big. Now we find three main kinds of, um, of sites for stone tools. And this is true in general, not just for uh, Alduan, but also for Acheulean tools. We find, we find stone tools at butchering sites. So there's a, there's a carcass in the field. They have come along and are... Um, removing flesh from that carcass at, using their tools. And sometimes the tools break or sometimes they have to run real fast and they leave a stone tool behind. So we sometimes find stone tools at these sites, which is evidence that they were using them on carcasses. We find them at quarrying sites. I misspelled quarrying there, but... Uh, um, uh, and there we find both the raw material and discarded, flawed attempts. So you find these instances where somebody started making a tool and then notice that there was a flaw in the rock, either one that they could see or one they could hear as they hit on it. Because if it doesn't sort of sound kind of even all the way through, that means there's some places where the rock is, uh, where the crystals in the rock are not aligned correctly and it will break. It may be a weak point. Um, so we find that, we find discarded flakes, we find all sorts of stuff at these sites, which is great. The last and more sort of debated kinds of sites is we find them in what look like caches, like somebody deliberately left them there. There's like a pile of them. But it's debatable whether these were deliberately placed there or whether natural processes could have swept them together uh, in some way. Uh, sometimes they're considered home bases, like this must mean that, that this is where they live, but we don't necessarily always find other evidence of habitation uh, from those sites. We just find these caches of tools.
Okay, that is it for right now for the Alduan. Uh, next, we're going to address the Acheulean tool industry. Now, the Alduan doesn't really go away completely. Um, you still have, uh, you're still going to have uh, Homo erectus using uh, a lot of it, especially at the beginning. Uh, but the next tool industry takes a remarkable turn uh, and and a remarkable step up in complexity uh, from this tool industry. So uh, I'll talk to you about that next time. For now, thank you very much for joining me and take care of yourself and have a great week. See you soon.